Hey YouTube, um, this should be a happy video, but it's not. Uh, I decided I needed to make a video because all I want to do right now is go take advantage of the Easter sale and buy Cadbury eggs, which is the only thing that I told myself that I could not eat ever again. Um, so, I decided to come on here and tell you my game plan, which is to walk to the store, um, like my daughter keeps asking me to do, because she wants junk food, and uh, I'm going to buy some dip so that I can eat my protein quinoa chips with dip, and I'm going to buy one of the peanut butter protein bars that I really enjoy. And I'm going to eat chips, dip, and chocolate peanut butter in the healthiest forms that I can do it in. So that's my game plan. And um, I'll tell you, I guess, a little bit. Well, actually, let me tell you some happy news first. Um, this last Wednesday was week 27, but the week before that was week 26. And I was... Uh, at like 301.2 so I did not make it to my 299 goal that I really wanted to get to but that Saturday morning which was still within that 26 week um, thing I woke up and I was 299 exactly so I did a little happy dance and I was really excited and um, uh, yeah, so anyways, I am under 300. Actually, Wednesday I got on the scale, and I was um, 297.2, but then I got on a couple more times, and I was 298.2, so I'm going to go with 298.2. But the point is, I am under 300 pounds, and that is really awesome. Um, okay, so that is... Um, a total loss so far of 124 pounds since um, I first started to lose weight back in August of 2014. Started at 422, so. Um, uh, and since surgery, it's 74, 74 pounds, I believe, which was October 1st, 2014. So, um, uh, the reason why I am in this mood, a lot of you probably have heard I've been going back and forth with some... Um, problems with my grandma. Um, she is really near and dear to my heart. She raised me. Um, my grandpa and her, they raised me. Uh, they also took me in um, again after I went out and got in trouble, got pregnant, came home without a father for my kid. Um, so they, my daughter has been around them her entire life as well. So anyways, they're just really close to us and uh, my grandma's had a lot of uh, problems recently and um, her pain level because of this fracture that she's got in her back has increased so much that um, they've told us it's never going to heal the only thing we can do at this point is um, pain management which um, she was getting better so it's kind of a blow to hear that her fracture just got worse and is now to the point where it can't heal so um, uh, there's more to the story, but anyways, that's the gist of it. Um, she is uh, on her way to the emergency room right now because she can't handle the pain. My grandpa calls me every four hours or so. Um, I can hear my grandma in the background crying, and uh, my grandpa's saying he doesn't know what to do. She's begging for more pain pills. They told him not to give them to her. I mean, they eventually changed their tune, but I'm like, give her the pain pills. She's in pain. Um, uh, so anyways, I've been dealing with that, my grandpa calling me basically in tears because he can't handle hearing her in tears for days and days upon a time. She went to a doctor today, a pain doctor, who took her off of the hydrocodone and put her on the lowest possible dose of a pain patch that you could get, which, um, got really, her pain got really bad and that's why she's actually on her way to the ER. Um. That's a whole other story and a reason why I called that doctor and let them have a piece of my mind. Um, anyways, uh, so I was on the phone with my grandpa when he said that the ambulance was on their way to come get her. He was crying. 
I asked to talk to my grandma. My grandma was um, moaning and crying and all she could barely get a couple words out, which all in itself is a lot to handle for me. And I was okay. I was handling it. Come to find out in the background, my husband is probably upset and so he's probably trying to handle it in his own way. We're supposed to be going to Florida in two weeks. Um, we had to cancel our previous trip because of some health issues with my grandma. And so he's in the background saying, I already know we're not going to go to Florida. I already know that. And Tiana said, why would you say that? He's like, because I'm not stupid. Your grandma's probably going to be dead before we even go. Um... Not exactly what I would call supportive. Um, he said it in that tone. I don't know why he is like that. Because sometimes he is the best ever. And I don't know why he's like that. But, uh... Like I said, he could be, like my mom told me, he could be upset about all this too, which he is. I know he loves my grandma, but in handling it in his own way. But, um, it was not very good to hear, especially when he said it to my 15-year-old daughter. <laughs> um, and then when I confronted him about it, he basically yelled at us and said, it's because we're all in denial. And he, I said, how would you like it if I was like this about your parents? And he said, well, I would want you to be if I wasn't in, de if I was in denial. So, uh, anyways, that is the reason why I am ready to throw in the towel and go buy things I should not be buying and take advantage of those Easter sales where I know I can get the eggs I want for like 10 cents right now and I could probably eat 20 of them so um, I'm going to try not to <laughs> but I am going to go and I'm going to get stuff that I want to eat the healthy way I guess you would call it that quinoa chips with dip and a protein bar that I want that's what I'm doing. It's going to take me over my calories for the day, but I don't care. So, anyways, that's my vlog for this past week. The week 27, I guess. Bye. Sorry I wasn't so happy.